Okay, thank you for passing by this video today. In this video, there are two parts. First is how to create a playable standalone VST without the need of a DAW. And secondly, is to create a folder of your playable VSTs that use clickable customized icons. So first, we need to open up our web browser and head over to this website here. I'll leave a link in the description below for all the websites that I use in this demonstration. And we need this program called Savvy Host, which is going to do all the work for us. So if we scroll down to the little download section here, we have our 32 or 64 bit versions with or without on screen keyboard. I'll go for the one with the on screen keyboard. Once it's all installed and that, it's quite easy to toggle the on-screen keyboard on and off. So I'll need the 64-bit version here. I've already downloaded this and unzipped it. So next, I'll head over to Plugins for Free. There are many other websites that host uh, VSTs. And I've just picked this one at random. I've never used this, program, this uh, VST before. So I have no idea what it's like. So again, let's scroll down and I'll click on the 64-bit version. Hopefully that'll download for us. Completed, that's done. So now we need to head over to my second laptop and yeah, that's done, job done. Right, we're over onto my uh, other laptop where I keep all my music stuff. So we've downloaded Savvy Host, I've unzipped it, and we should end up with a folder like this. What we want to do is make a copy of that folder, sorry, this one here, make a copy of that. So click on there, copy, paste. That produces a, a duplicate version. Then the next thing we want to do is find our VST that we downloaded. It was this brainstormer. Hope it's as good as it sounds. So we double click on there, on there. Now what we want to do is copy this DLL file. So we copy that. We go back over to our Savvy Host copy folder. So double click that. Then in here, we paste the VST file here. And then the next thing I like to do, oops, the next thing I like to do is copy the name of the file, come back out of there, and then rename this savvy host copy that paste we'll just take off the DLL the dot DLL DLL can't get the words out right brainstorm is up there now then we'll click that then next what we want to do is come in here and rename this with the same name paste that now we delete the DLL and change it to EXE. Enter. Now if we double click this, we want to select that DLL file, open. And there we have it. The first time you load up one of these, you'll get this little message. Uh, if you just press OK, that's the last time you'll see that. So here we go. Here's the keyboard. You can toggle that on and off if you wish. Toggle that off. Now next, what you want to do is go into Devices, MIDI, Select your MIDI source. So for me, 
that would be my keyboard here it can be anything a keyboard any other MIDI device so we select that okay then we're back into devices we go into wave I want to select my input and output which is a USB audio device that I've plugged in now because of the age of my computer from the time when you press a key on your keyboard to the actual sound coming out may actually be delayed so I find if you just play around with this I like to just to halve, halve it so we press OK now before we do anything else we close this we go back to our exe file and delete the dot exe ok now we double click on this again okay there's our VST now hopefully when I press a key voila you have sound you can make music do whatever you like that's how simple it is if that's all you want to do at this point everything works hunky-dory okay we've reached this point in the second part of the video I'll be showing you how you can go from this to creating a folder full of standalone VSTs something like this so here we go Just scroll down a bit all selectable and playable straight away so come out of there so the first thing we want to do is take a screenshot of this so screenshot of that I come into my paint program I paste paste that in now what I want to do is crop this so we come here it's not very helpful have I got it have I got it all no I haven't got it all do it the other way around something like that go from there do so now we crop now I need to save this uh, save as a PNG let's call it brainstorm uh, one. that's that now at this point we go from this computer back to the very first laptop because this one's not connected to the, the internet and plus I don't have the necessary paint program on here to do what we need to do next okay now we've moved over to my uh, photo editing software uh, GIMP in this instant uh, I've opened up a 500 by 500 pixel picture here and what we want to do is to take the screenshot we took from my other laptop and just to paste it into here like so and then all you have to do is move it around until you're happy with how it looks like so then I'm happy with that so the next thing I want to do is to flatten this image then come over to export as we'll call this brainstorm again PNG and where am I saving that save that in my downloads at some point there we go export that
uh, export and that's that that's that done so the next step is to go back and open our web browser onto this site called icoconvert.com and then what we need to do is to choose file show all files take our brainstorm png open that up upload there's our image so we scroll down I like to uh, choose 256 by 256 and then what we need to do is convert ICO and to download our icon and that then that is that done so the next step <laughs> is to go back to my other laptop the last time I promise and to finish this process off okay the final part what we need to do is to go to our Savvy host file brainstormer double click on that and we need to select the brainstormer executable here right click on there create shortcut then with this shortcut I'm just going to drag and hold that into my folder over here we can close this down now open this up and now that's dragged that into this folder full of my standalone VSTs now the next thing I want to do is right click on there properties go to change icon browse and I need to find what I forgot where it is desktop go into this folder here click on here now this is where I've put all the images the icon images so I need to find brainstorm that's the one we got from the website earlier open that that brings it up into here and then the next thing we want to do is say OK and then apply and then OK and there we have it it joins the rest of them in the folder so there it is so now if I double click on here there's that let me just double check this this doesn't that's all good that's all good now hopefully there we go making sound again and then you can play around with the different things on here just like any VST you would use in your DAW that's a bit high that's gonna that's a bit low there we go and then you just play to your heart's content so we can come out of here you can have it viewed like this or see I've got it on extra large at the moment but you can have large icons so you've got it something like that so yeah play to your heart's content if I click on here that loads that up there you go hope that's all been helpful 
um, my very first video so I do apologize not the greatest but hey ho um, yeah happy days play to your, your heart's content enjoy